am Chelsea, the Christian nutritionist, coming to you from the donkey barn here in Nantucket. Now, since I've been here taking care of my friend's animals, I wake up every morning, I come down, I feed the donkeys, I muck out the paddock, and do a lot of physical labor before I eat breakfast. This goes against a lot of the conventional advice you'll hear that you have to eat the second you wake up to get your metabolism going. That's not necessarily true. In fact, my goal and what I teach in my Feast to Fast Metabolic Makeover program is to try and extend that time that you don't eat between dinner and breakfast. This is your fasting time, the time you're not eating, and it's an exceptional way to improve fat burning, improve uh, detoxification, and enhance digestion. Now, there's a lot of examples of fasting in the Bible, and in Matthew 6, 16, we hear Jesus say, when you fast, not if you fast, but when you fast. Fasting is an ancient spiritual and physical discipline, and it's a wonderful tool to promote good health. If you'd like to benefit from fasting, simply start extending that time that you don't eat between dinner and breakfast. A good starting baseline goal is about 10 to 12 hours. And then when you do break your fast, which is the way where, where we get the word breakfast, make sure it's full of real food the way God made it. Don't let Dunkin' Donuts or McDonald's or Cheerios tell you that breakfast is the most important meal of the day. Look to the Bible as your health manual, always. Incorporate fasting, incorporating real food the way God made it will make for long-term good health. I hope you enjoyed this message from Nantucket at the Donkey Barn. Have a healthy and blessed week.